How you doing guys? This is Hector Garate with Palmito Barbecue and today we're cooking dino beef ribs with arroz con gandules. So first thing is first, try to source the best beef ribs you can, the best quality. You can tell you got a lot of marbling going on right here. That's gonna render really nice. This is uh, Red Angus. We're gonna go ahead and put some black pepper. Now this is 16 mesh black pepper. It's the ratio that I like with kosher salt, and we go. So we're looking for an even coat. Then I'm gonna grab some salt. This is diamond, crystal, salt, kosher. I mean. I guess it actually sticks to the meat, the meat the best to me. It just creates the best bark, you know? Then, right here, sasong. All the flavor right here, look at that. I mean, this is like, mm. I like to put a Puerto Rican seasoning and it just brings all those vibrant notes that you taste up on me, the barbecue. And we're gonna go ahead and put it in the smoker. And what's gonna happen is, the reason we put black pepper first is because that attracts a lot of smoke. We have the caldero in the fire, and this is the way that I prefer to cook rice for family occasions. And we got some sofrito right here, some Puerto Rican sofrito. We're gonna start dropping this, and you're gonna see the reaction. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna start smelling medium grain rice right here, and we're gonna go ahead and drop it in here. So right now we're mixing all the sofrito with the rice. I swear I have a big paddle somewhere. So we live in that toast, and then we're gonna go ahead and add some pork stock right here. We have some sazon in here. We got some oregano, we got some black pepper, we got some garlic powder for sure, because we have the flavor here. Go ahead and add some gandules. We're gonna just let it cook, and um, we're gonna see all the liquids evaporating. And that's when we know when we got to stir it. And once we stir it, we're gonna cover it up and let it finish cooking, steaming up. So I put the bananas in the fire, the banana leaves in the fire to make it viable. And what I'm doing is I'm covering the rice to let it finish steaming. And I'm also gonna give it like a distinctive flavor to the rice that we're looking for too as well. I didn't cover it. And let it finish steaming. Now I will say at this point, the rice was tender, so we just let it open even more, uh, making it more tender, all those flavors in there. So I would say maybe 10 to 20 minutes. It depends how hot your fire is. Hey guys, the beef ribs are done. We're just gonna go ahead and start slicing. Let's see what's going on around here. Woo! Look at that, guys. Looks great. Yeah. With some of those con gandules, come on, guys. It's gonna be ridiculous. 